Hey guys, today we're going to talk about fasting and gallstones. This is based on a very interesting study right here, which I, I'm going to put a link down below. First thing you need to know is that gallstones are created by two conditions. One is a super concentrated amount of cholesterol with low amounts of bile because bile naturally breaks down cholesterol. So if you don't have enough bile, then you get this formation of cholesterol that then can crystallize into stones. This study involved nine healthy women where they extracted bile from the duodenum, which is the uh, first part of the small intestine, at 10-hour fast, 15-hour fast, and 20-hour fast. And they were looking at the saturation index. Okay, so the more saturated, the more risk of getting a gallstone. So this is what they found, a significant greater saturation at 15 hours compared to 10 hours. Now, if you're just reading this, you're going to go, oh my gosh, fasting does increase your risk of getting a gallstone. Well, if you keep reading the article, you'll also uh, notice that they said this. However, at 20 hours, it reverted. Okay, it reverted. So I'm just going to read the last part, the conclusion. In conclusion, our findings suggest that fasting between 10 and 20 hours may indeed increase the risk of gallstone formation, but this effect is countered by a more prolonged fast. Now, there's a couple other points that they mention that I, I need to talk about. Number one, it looked like the gallbladder stopped concentrating at a certain point when the person's fasting. So in other words, in your mind, you might think that if you want to fast, the gallbladder is going to keep concentrating and concentrating and concentrating uh, the bile in the gallbladder and creating a stone. But they're observing that the body actually stops concentrating at a certain point. Also, number two, they mentioned that there might be some emptying of the gallbladder during the fast and then replacing with a less concentrated amount of bile. And also, one last thing I want to mention. Uh, the diet that they were on um, included about 95 grams of carbohydrates. Now, in keto, we're only recommending 20 to 50 grams. We do know that insulin does increase risk of gallstones. Cortisol will increase risk of gallstones. Estrogen will increase the risk of gallstones. Naturally, if you're using that many carbs, that can influence the numbers. I'd be very curious if they did the study with someone being on a ketogenic plan to see what would happen. But from my experience working with a tremendous amount of people and also reading a lot of the reviews, I don't think I've ever heard anyone mention that they develop gallstones from doing fasting and healthy keto. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.